In volleyball, the most important thing is agility, being able to dive and reach your arm right back there. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. So really, he wants to cut out his weightlifting and he wants to become a, more of an agility acrobat. So he could almost do a back somersault and knock the ball back over the thing. In volleyball, the higher you can get up and close to it and bang it down there, the more chance you're going to get put. I played basketball first, and my coach at college asked me to try it for volleyball. At first, I was reluctant, but I got a liking to it. The um, gym where I went, I could only go to once a week, and I used to go at the park find a hard bit of ground and a soft bit of ground and practice them back some sorts on my own. Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays we have gym. Now we weigh ourselves every Wednesday I have to do a jump mat and then that records how much I'm jumping off the floor and see how it you know plateaus and comes down. Now without that input I wouldn't know exactly how much I'm doing to the to the centimetre. The immune system can be affected by overindulgent on technology. I just feel that technology is um, rather rubbed out various aspects of the human mind. Training, you've got machines that help out. If you're weak in a certain area, when it comes to rehab, a machine can help you just isolate that area and help you on the road to recovery. When I went to the Polytechnic, um, they had basketball and fencing and uh, all the equipment was stored in the corner. I used to have to do a bit in the corner and then um, I almost have to plead with the instructor, could I get the rings out or can I have the apparatus out? I only did about four hours a week training, whereas all the gymnasts in the British team do 30 hours a week and they train in a warm gym. And I, I used to train in a cold gym, I hadn't got a coach and uh, that's how, how things went on. Well, when it comes to feedback and statistics, just recently I had to watch over tapes of other teams and then graft where they've been hitting and stack it up. So then when I do come to face the team, I'll know where, where the setter likes to play the balls. And that helps, it makes you much more aware. Well, I think they've got far more uh, facilities. And um, when I was doing my exercise, did it on the bare floor and they, they, they do it on a sprung floor. On the, on the um, men on the high bar, they wear hand shields now, whereas I, I used to have chalk on my hands and I used to put it on the bar, go around twice and a big lump of skin would come out so you'd be, wouldn't be able to train for about a week. Technology in sport, I'm starting to admire it because recently I had to graft when um, a set of plays balls and there's different options in a game. Now for me sitting down twice a week, just reading a game that previously the, um, the players played, I can then come into the game much more prepared and then see where it would play it, making it my life easier. And then when it comes to rehab, when you're using machines, you can isolate a certain area so recovery is much more quicker. Now, come over here. Stand on that step. Right, face, stand on the step. Right, put your arms forward. Bend your knees right down flat. Like right down flat, go on right down. Heels on the ground. Now put your arms above your head. Yeah, not going above my head. Instead of working on weights in the gym, you should be vaulting like if you see a fence, see if I can vault over it or or dive roll over an obstacle. You've got to be doing more agile. You're not agile. You come down like a sack of concrete on the ground. See this bar here? I'll go around there. Look. There. See that? Right, you've got force on hitting the ball, I agree with that. But the agility and is far more important. So if we talk about people like me and you that did do the weights, and then if we do have the knowledge about how to keep up straight and our posture, then technology can only be good. But, but, uh, but, but I mean, lovely is common sense to me. Let me show you this here. I had a screening earlier on and they built these like, yeah, because yeah. I have flat feet. Now that's technology right here that's helping me correct. What's wrong? I agree, you've got technology here. But I only use this when I'm playing. Outside of it, they give us exercises like you just gave me for me to correct it. Yeah. So, I mean, that's what I mean by, because I'm talking about athletics, I've got the knowledge to, you know, correct it. So, this can only be good. I can't be doing the exercises while I'm on court jumping. So, I've got to have something else to help me out. Technology has helped you. Yeah. Just as in, in uh, diving, springboard diving or 
trampoline or anything, you could sh sh slow it down the show where you should have made your twist there or something like that. So, so a hybrid of the two would be best. Technology is good. I mean, hospitals and things like that, but people are using it in a different, the wrong way now. Thank you.